You guys, trends are what make fashion fun. They're what make fashion fun. They're like the icing on the cake. I'm so excited, in case you can't tell, so excited to be talking about 2024 fashion trends with you today. And at the end of the video, I'm gonna eat my words because one of the things I've always told you not to wear is back, it's back. Stay tuned. This is Netta. Welcome to my channel. I am so excited to be talking about 2024 trends. Can you tell I'm excited to be talking about 2024 trends? This is like not a caffeine buzz. This is a fashion buzz I'm feeling right now. So very excited to be talking about all the fun stuff that's coming down uh, the pipeline for fashion in 2024. It's not even like it's not even coming. It's here. It's 2024. I can't believe it. So if you have not signed up for the fabulous After 50 virtual retreat, it is free. I do not know why you haven't signed up for it yet. Like do not like maybe even pause or maybe don't pause maybe right after this video just go to netamanly.com slash fabulous after 50 and and the link is on this screen and it's going to be in the description box and in all the places and just sign up it's free it's free and it's going to be amazing it's going to be amazing we get to hang out there are 30 plus experts that are all going to be telling you um giving you strategies and tools and resources to help you live your best life after 50. so there's literally no reason why you would not want to sign up for it. You, you need to sign up. So um, that said, if we want 2024 to be our most stylish year ever, let's take a look at some of the trends of 2024. I want to start by saying, this is a disclaimer. You don't have to buy into any trends. And if you don't like any of these trends, then you skip a season. It's like not a big deal. Flattery is always in style. Luxurious or good quality essentials, always in style. For those of you who just are not that interested in trends, you always want to start with flattering essentials. You always want to build your wardrobe around flattering essentials. Trends are really only, at, at the most, going to take up 20 to 30% of your wardrobe, and that's if you're into them. And then um, remember that your best colors are never going to go out of style. I'm never going to stop wearing red. Just because red is trendy right now doesn't mean, or hot pink is trendy right now, that's not the reason I'm wearing these colors. It makes them easier to find, but it's not the reason I'm wearing these colors. I'm wearing these colors because they're my colors. So flattery, picking your best colors, starting with essentials, those fundamental concepts will never go out of style. That said, every season has like themes, right? Every year has themes and trends and interesting things that come down um, you know, from the runways and make it into stores. And sometimes we want to embrace them. And sometimes we're just like, ah, that's awful. That's horrible. So this is going to be both on today's list. And, and, and you definitely want to stay till the end of this video, because I'm going to be sharing a kind of not an apology exactly, but I'm going to be eating my words a little bit because there are a couple of things that I was like, no, and now it's like, yes. Okay. So that's coming up. So first of all, I want to, I want to talk about the over, overarching girly trend. I love feminine style. If you have romantic style or feminine style, maybe we don't want to call it girly over 50. I like the word girly, but if you don't relate to that, maybe it's romantic, maybe it's feminine, but we've seen this, you know, ballet core. We saw cottage core and then it morphed into ballet core and now it's girl core and it's anything feminine. So we're talking about the, 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 you know, floral dresses. We're talking about rose motifs on everything. We're talking about little rosettes, like actual appliques of rosettes, roses, rosettes, Roses, roses everywhere. Um, and then bows are still continuing. Bows were strong in 2023. I am so proud to report that without any pushing or prodding at all on my part, I promise, both of my girls have ended up wearing bows recently, like over the holiday season. I was like, I'm so proud. I'm so proud. But seriously, bows, rosettes, florals, feminine styles, lace, like all of that girly, girly stuff, definitely still continuing some of the ballet core happening very big theme for 2024. I'm here for it. I love it. I love feminine clothes. This Alexander McQueen dress literally had my jaw dropping. I was like, oh my goodness, that is like the prettiest, most dramatic. Like this is like girl core, but like grown up girl core, but with like glamour. It's just stunning. So that's the whole rose thing that's happening, right? Um, second, we have sequins. Sequins. Now, sequins are never out of style, but usually they're like a New Year's Eve thing or maybe just a, a night out thing. But now we're seeing sequins all the time on everything and even sequins for daytime. So do with that what you will. I like it. Like I think a little sequin cami or sequin top, maybe worn under a blazer or a jacket. Um, it's just a fun look, right? Or maybe to dress up your jeans, whatever. Like it's just fun. And let's face it, the world needs more fun. The world needs more fun fashion. I'm really excited about both of those trends because they're fun. They're feminine. They give us an opportunity to, to do something different. Okay, 
preppy style, preppy, like prep school basics, polos and, and letter sweaters and cardigans and like all of the, the preppy, the classic Americana preppy style. Um, more of the New England style preppy than the Southern style preppy is what I'm seeing in terms of trends this season and this year. And so you're going to find all the preppy basics, the pieces that are really wearable sweaters and, and shorts and, um, you know, pleated skirts and and cardigans and polo shirts, like all of those styles are, are um, and then we're also seeing like sportswear versions of it where you've got like longer tennis skirts with polo shirts. It's it's just, you know, very wearable, very sportswear oriented, um, you know, basically basic pieces with a little bit of a preppy twist to them. I love it. I, I think it's so much fun. Um, even if you're not, if you don't have preppy style, you can dabble, right? You can dabble. We don't have to be all in on preppy to dabble. I'm going to dabble. Okay. Another trend thing that's happening is eclectic basics, like kind of more interesting basics. So there was a book that just came out about Carolyn Bissett Kennedy. I've been reading about it. I've read about it in like 950 trend reports, but apparently her style, like that 90s basic style is kind of back where the basics are still there, but they're a little bit more interesting. And I think this is a great trend to explore. Um, so we're really like you say, maybe you have your wardrobe from scratch. You have your 12 basic pieces that I talk about all the time. Well, maybe you can incorporate a couple of new, interesting, slightly elevated, slightly edgier basics into your wardrobe um whatever that looks like for you but we're, we're still to me this is sort of an extension of the quiet luxury um that that sort of trend which is not really going anywhere it never goes anywhere now they can say quite like you're going to see it on out lists as much as you're going to see it on in lists but quiet luxury is really not going anywhere because it, what it is is it's a classic style it's just classic style it's neutral it's classic it's timeless that never goes out of style you can call it a trend but it's not really a trend just like colors you can call them trendy they're not really trendy so this is the eclectic basics are really kind of an extension of that um, that quiet luxury look that we've been seeing the last last year. Okay, tailoring, tailoring, like really chic polished suits, sharp shoulders, um, sleek silhouettes, beautiful tailored pieces that are worthy of like a boardroom, you know, those types of pieces, we're gonna be seeing a lot of those. So if you've got the lifestyle where you could support some of those pieces, wonderful. If you don't, maybe you'll wanna dabble in small doses of it, like maybe a, a really cool blazer worn with jeans or a great pair of high-waisted pants. We're seeing a lot of really high-waisted pants. Some of these pants are so high-waisted they would end up on here on me, but um, for someone who doesn't have a short torso, they can they, they can they can go a little higher waisted than I can. But you're you're seeing all of those crisp, tailored, polished pieces. Um, and again, those don't you can call it a trend. Those are never really out of style, right? They're never out of style, especially for someone in that type of a workplace. Um, 80s glam, 80s glam. Oh my goodness, I'm such a child of the 80s. I love the 80s. I love the 80s. I love the 80s. Love the music. Um, just love everything about the 80s. It was my era. Um, and you know, so maybe my, the big, big, big hair will come back. I, I come by that naturally. But like 80s glam, we're seeing 80 like a lot of like ornamentation and over the top elements and lots of lots of glam a lot of excess, a lot of things worn with other things in a way that we haven't seen in a while. So 90s was all about minimalism and 80s was all about glam. And I feel like there's kind of a race between the 80s and the 90s. Let me know in the comments if you're a team 80s or team 90s. I'm going to go for team 80s. I was a fashion editor in the 90s. I'm sorry. It was the era of minimalism. I'm like, how many gray shapeless dresses do I need to see down the runway before I fall asleep, right? Like it was so boring at the time. I just felt like, oh, it just, it, it lacked pizzazz. 80s, it did not lack pizzazz. So I'm, I'm, I'm team 80s. I want to know what team you're on in the, in the, in the comments. Okay. Metallics, metallics. Speaking of 80s, Everything is shiny. Everything is shiny. We already talked about sequins, but metallics, metallics all the time. And we've had metallics this year. This is going to be a lot of gold. And it, like silver had a moment in 2023. Gold is having a moment in 2024. Again, pick your metal, your best metal, the one that suits you the best and the one that you like the best because they're all everywhere. Everything's going to be shiny. You can wear shiny for casual. You can wear shiny for dress. You might even be able to wear shiny for work, depending on your workplace. Like shiny, shiny everywhere. Shiny everywhere. Um... Okay, so those are the main overarching themes and trends of 2024. Now I'm going to get into a couple more little specifics. So like accessories include gargantuan bags. 
I like I need to go find my old diaper bags like these bags are like like luggage they're like luggage they're huge they're huge so really oversized bags we've seen them from all the different designers all the all the big names um are, that's a major trend for 2024 no pun intended major trend big bag um kitten heels kitten heels are they they've been trending the last couple of years i I've personally been loving the kitten heels trend and they're definitely gonna continue through 2024. We're still gonna see a lot of kitten heels, a lot of little slingbacks, a lot of really feminine shoes. Um, we're also seeing flats, a lot of flats. Again, no one's ever stopped wearing flats, but flats are big for 2024. So if you're not a heel person, you're gonna find lots of options in 2024. Okay, now I wanna, I, I wanna change, change my focus a little and talk about things to consider with caution in 2024. Proceed with caution. Oh my goodness. Some of these are a little bit like, what in the world happened? And then I'm going to share the one where I'm kind of like eating my words a little. Okay. First are the short shorts. These are like people going out with their underwear on. This is underwear. This is underwear, but they're like, I'm going to call it shorts because I just didn't feel like putting on pants or skirt. And so I just wanted to go out with my underwear. We've seen this. We saw this in 2023. Sometimes they're wearing it with tights. Usually they're wearing it with tights. It looks like you're wearing a leotard and then you threw a sweater on over the top or something. And you've got tights and a leotard and a sweater. This is okay if you're in ballet class, but it's not okay to wear. I mean, these are, these are, this is underwear, like on the streets. These shorts are so, and, 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 and then now it's kind of evolved into shorts, but these shorts are so, so, so short that they might as well be underwear. So these really microscopic short shorts, sometimes worn with um, leggings or uh, tights or whatever, like, I don't have to tell you guys that that's probably not, not going to be something you're going to want to wear to the grocery store or doctor's office or whatever. Like, it's just not not wearable also not wearable sheer skirts sheer skirts that sometimes are worn over the underwear shorts so sheer skirts with underwear shorts like not a real life thing i know we're going to see this on some red carpets it's going to be fantastic on someone like zendaya but i i cannot pull these off in my regular life now i love a little sheerness sheer is definitely a big trend you know sheer blouse with a cami underneath or you know dress with sheer sleeves like sheer elements absolutely beautiful but sheer full sheer dresses like the naked dresses or sheer skirts with like boy shorts underneath them. Not so much for me. I don't know. Let me know what you think of these in the comments. Leggings. Leggings are absolutely back, not just as an athleisure piece, but as like something to wear like actually an outfit, something to wear. I've been experimenting with my leggings a little ever since I got the Hilara leggings that I'm currently wearing. They are glued to my body today because they are ridiculously comfortable and they don't attract pet hair. But I've never been a legging person because I never thought they were comfortable. And I never thought they were that cute. But I'm, I'm starting to wrap my brain around leggings. Leggings are definitely having a moment. Proceed with caution. So we're going to see, I think, a shift a little bit towards you know styling leggings in cooler ways again and not just like what you wear around the house. So we'll see how much that really takes off. One thing that hasn't taken off that we thought might be taking off a lot is skinny jeans. We're not really seeing skinny jeans. We're not really seeing, like I kind of thought, well, maybe they were gonna creep back in because skinnier bottoms in general like leggings. I thought, well, now that they've got a skinny pant silhouette with leggings, maybe they're gonna do a skinny jean, but no, no. Skinny jeans are still not really happening. Um, we're seeing really dramatic bell bottoms. We're seeing barrel leg jeans. We're seeing wide leg jeans. We're seeing high waisted jeans. We're seeing a lot of the same styles we've seen the last couple of years with, the, with a lot of volume. We're not seeing skinny. I'm not really seeing any skinny jeans. I'll let you know if that changes. But right now I've watched, I cannot tell you how many hours of runway shows. That's how I come up with these trend reports. So when people are like, that's not really trendy. I'm like, well, I actually... I didn't make these up. I actually watched a lot of runway shows so that I can do these trend reports. And I do trend reports that, you know, are used by other stylists. So these are just the things that are out right now. We can choose not to wear them, but these are the actual trendy trends. So um, leggings, I thought would bring back skinny jeans. I'm not really seeing that. I'm still seeing a lot of volume in, in jeans. Um, we will see how some of these trends go from the runway to real life. Like which of these trends are people actually going to be wearing? And are we actually going to see out and about even in cities like New York or, you know, Paris or whatever, what are we going to actually be seeing? I know by the time some of the stuff filters down to my small beach town that I live in, you know, that that's, that's a long way off, but okay. 
Now is the time for me to eat my words and to issue a formal apology because the most controversial blog and probably the most controversial tip that I have ever said in the history of histories of me doing, you know, talking about style online, which is a long time. It's been, it's been a long time, is my edict against capris. Capris. I've always said, nope, nope, nope. No capris, no capris. Capris are awful, capris are aging, capris are, you're not really buying yourself any extra air conditioning with those couple of inches you're losing off the end of your pants. Like capris are just all the things. I've said so many things about capris and why I don't like capris and why I don't think we should wear capris and how they make you look matronly and how they're frumpy and how all of the things, right? And now it's time for me to eat my words because people like Haley Baldwin and whatever, like all of these you know, young and, and fabulous people are wearing capris however i will say that they do not look like the mature capris i was talking about they look like pedal pushers like leggings that are cut off just below the knee that's what they are they're leggings that are cut off just below the knee that's the new capri in case you're like oh netta said we can wear capris again and everyone brings out their like capri jeans or their capri pants from 10 years ago or whatever that's not what these look like they look like leggings that are short they look like leggings that are short and they're generally worn on people who are very, very tall and absolutely uh, like model looking. I think this is going to be a very hard look to pull off. I'm going to, I'll put them on you guys. We can all laugh at them together. I do have relatively long legs. I'm 5'2", so I can't get carried away with things like this, but that's the capri that I'm saying. So am I eating my words? Sort of, because they're sort of back, but they're sort of not. It's, you know, We'll see. We'll see. I mean, if we can wear them in a way that it looks like Audrey Hepburn with her ankle pants, then let's go for it. Um, if they're going to look, you know, they're going to be boxy and matronly and like not cute, then, you know, I'm still going to steer you away from the things that don't work. And these really are just not going to work for most women in real life. Okay, so I hope that you enjoyed my animated take on 2024 trends. I, I'm loving, loving um, just this conversation, talking about trends. This is so fun. This is kind of what makes fashion worth being fashion-y. You know what I mean? It's, it's, it's kind of what makes it fun to be in fashion. Yes, the essentials and the basics and the building blocks and all of that stuff is, is the foundation, but this is the fun stuff. This is like the icing on the cake. And so I love talking about this. Love to hear what trends you're interested in and which ones you're absolutely against in the comments. Um, don't forget to join that free fabulous after 50 virtual retreat. Don't forget to comment um, on this video, like this video. And if you haven't subscribed already, like we have so much fun here, definitely consider subscribing and joining us. Love you guys. I'll see you in the next one.